what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's me nisha if you're new pause this video right now go subscribe and check out my other videos after you watch this one if you are watching this video you are interested or well let me stop this is my third video in this shirt but i promise you it's the same day and i'm not gross anyway um so yeah this video is just gonna be about my college journey as a non-traditional student um so a few things about me before we get started i graduated high school in 2013 i took a gap year and started at the university of alabama in birmingham in 2014 and 15. um so freshman year of course i was <laughs> your normal average freshman that partied way too hard, had such a low GPA, and had to get put on academic probation. So that was not fun. So my advice to freshmen, please go to class, do your work, and then party, okay? Um, so <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't live in the dorms. I lived in like college housing, which was like, um, like college apartments so they were just off-campus college apartments so there were parties there like literally every night and i was just always at somebody's party never doing my homework um so yeah i started in 2014 after my gap year um was put on academic probation i didn't have to leave school but at the time i was working at a daycare and they offered me a full-time position as a teacher so i was like okay i'm just gonna do that and i'll keep up with school because like I, I never was kicked out or anything but i was like you know i'll just do this teaching thing full-time i love kids so much so i felt like that was just the perfect career thing for me and i was like you know I can literally just go to school online or no at the time I was like I'll just go to school on the campus after school bad idea so doing that for one semester it was just too much because I would work like 7 30 7 30 to 3 um, in my classroom as a teacher and then try to go to classes from like 3 30 to 5 30 like doing that at two afternoon classes or the evening classes and i was just so tired all the time still barely doing homework and i just felt like okay i don't want to get kicked out of school like school so important to me at this point and i just know like i can do better so talked to my administrators and became a teacher's assistant um, I was making much less money and as someone supporting myself that just wasn't really the best thing and I was kind of relying on like my student loans to help me like take care of myself which is also not a good thing to do um, so when I became a teacher's assistant I would work from like 7 30 to 1 go to class from like 1 till 3 then go back to work from like 3 to like 4 30 and then get off that was a lot of driving back and forth a lot of wasted gas because like um my campus was probably like 20 to 30 minutes away from the school so it was so much back and forth and I was like okay so after that spring semester in 2015 I decided to um, just take a break from school because I was just like so overwhelmed and I needed the money so I went back teaching full-time did the summer camp um, so yeah after the spring semester did the summer camp and I don't the worst thing about taking breaks in college is the fact that you look up and so much time passes by because I finished my spring semester um, of freshman year yeah, finished my spring semester of freshman year in 2015. I did not go back to school after a break until 2017, which is just so crazy for me just thinking about how much time passed. But I got to a point in my teaching career that I just kind of felt like, you know, I'm not really making money like I want to. And I just felt like I could do more. So I started going to school online and then um hey say um started going to school online full-time that really worked out for me sorry my roommate came in here um that really worked out for me and then so yeah now i've been going to school online full-time since 2017 um got accepted into the disney college program in june and then yeah so 
yeah, that's pretty much my college journey. And it kind of made me like a non-traditional student. Um, but it's worked for me. And I do feel like that a lot of people don't talk about how going to school online, you have to be so, so disciplined. Because you really don't have like that help from your peers and your teachers as much as you would like on campus because you definitely have to you have to schedule out your time to submit your assignments to study to get everything done you have to you're kind of in charge of your learning process and um i i can read something one time and have it figured out but if you're one of those people that like has to be able to ask your questions right then then online is definitely not going to be for you because you can ask your professor a question and not get an answer back until the end of that week or like the next week so um that that is a big thing to consider um and then also i'm trying to think of what else yeah so i think that's pretty much it and I feel like that's really all I have to say. So yeah, thank you um, for watching this and I hope that I was able to help you and yeah, have a good day.